Thanks for coming over to this Amadeus. Today's video is about Ella the Water Ranger. Now, I was glad to hear from so many of you about how the weekend went and what you were working on. And, and it sounds like a lot of work got put into this weekend to work on projects, get six stars up, and it was really cool to hear that. Um, I also want to give a special shout out to Big P. Uh, he put up his Mortal Key now so I could test out that build and, and it really helped me out a lot deciding if I even wanted a six star, right? Which, no surprise, I did, because she's a great free to play unit. So now before we get into the details of testing and how I feel about her, um, specifically her performance, let's actually take a second and break her down. First, here are my Ella stats. Pretty obvious that I went with an attack build, right? She is a support champion, but I went with an attack build because my goal from the beginning was to use her as an additional DPS um, to support my Steel Widow 10 because she has a great kit and I thought she'd get me below that one minute line, right? So Ella starts off with a really nice basic attack called Aim Shot. Aim Shot is an attack based skill that applies block buff. So that's great for all those Steel Widow teams that struggle under the oppression of OGD. And I know I'm one of them, so it's huge, right? So her next skill is called Split Arrow. And this allows her to attack multiple targets at once for a short time, which makes her invaluable in waves. Now, this is even more chances for her to add block buffs and do DPS in other situations, which is also phenomenal, right? So in those waves where they get buffed, she can stop that. Great, great skill. Um, the bread and butter skill for Ella, however, is the next one, and this is dodge. And this applies immunity to herself and allies every six seconds when skilled up in adept gear. Now this is before synergy traits, so yes, it is possible to get this immunity uptime to 100%, and we're gonna see that. So this means no stuns, no OGD, no lower defense, it's great. Everybody loves immunity. Now, what I really was wondering about, and this is where a lot of the testing came in, her ultimate skill, Flash Arrow, shoots off a huge arrow that deals massive damage and applies the blinds debuff. Now this works great early on in OH, because I've tested it out and it's fantastic. Now, my particular Ella will hit for like 29K pre-crit, uh, pre right? That's ridiculous. So this landing often and regularly is actually what was the final nail in the coffin for me putting her on Adept Precise. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, I don't have a free, uh, you know, crit damage precise glove to give her or for that matter, a free Adept crit damage glove to give her. So she ended up being on broken for now. And this also means that I had to find at least one decent accuracy stat um, where I would have focused normally more on crit rate percent and attack instead. And that's, you know, that's definitely something you, we can change or maybe your gear is at that next level and you can get those instead. But for me, this build really kind of, I think, pulls out all of the elements for Ella that I was really looking for. And then it was just based upon her performance in the actual dungeons themselves. So let's go ahead and take a second and see what she can do. I want to take you through Ella's whole life cycle when it comes specifically to Steel Widow, at least her life cycle in my opinion, because you can use her throughout Elder Drake and into Steel Widow 10 to get you into the Ascended Raids. Now this particular team you see right here, Snake Lady, Archangel, Double Healer, is a lot of people's first Steel Widow 10 team. Not fast, not flashy, but a bunch of units that generally work well together to accomplish the goal of beating the Steel Widow. Now, she absolutely has a pivotal role on this team, doing DPS to keep the waves clear, adding that buff block to keep them from being bigger obstacle than they need to be, and keeping immunity up as much as possible. But her being able to target multiple champions, to support the Archangel as he jumps in there and really just kind of controls the crowd, is going to be really important early on and provides a great role there, also helping the, the Snake Lady do damage. Now. As you can see, they can get through this very easily. It's a very consistent team, but it's just slow, right? So now, as you become more comfortable with Steel Widow, you start to get some better gear. Now we want to start replacing units, maybe that we pull, that we build, to actually start to speed up these teams. I do want to take just a second to look at the battle report so that you can see how much damage that Ella actually contributed overall in comparison to the rest of the units. Right, as an early champion, this is great, right? You wanna have very consistent support and attack, especially if you're gonna have like a two minute and 30 second time. A consistent team is what you need to have before you can start whittling it down. So let's start looking at things that we can do to replace and speed this team up. Okay, so as you farm Steel Widow and get those next level or top tier units and you start to plug them back in here, 
Where do they fit? How does it work on your team? So is Ella still relevant? So let's say you get the Siege Tower. So we're gonna take out, not Ella, right? We're gonna take out the Snake Lady. And the Snake Lady is a one-for-one -one replacement with a Siege Tower. So let's see what that does to the team. Okay, so here we are at the Steel Widow. And once again, what we're hoping is gonna happen is that we're gonna see the buff block go up, we did. Hopefully we're gonna see the uh, immunity go up, which we do. And then we're gonna see nothing else really change except for a massive decrease over time of the Steel Widow's actual uh, health, right? So with the immunity, we're gonna take less damage from the lasers. We're not gonna get stunned. We're gonna be able to continue to apply debuffs. Now, I will say that I was really hoping at this point I would see a much more dramatic increase overall in the time. And, and to be fair, we're going to see a pretty dramatic increase from the previous time. I was thinking it was going to be more. I was, I was really thinking that we'd start to see um, her third skill come into its own and kind of shine, you know, and so... Uh, because you do have the lower defense that does end up getting up. She's built for crit damage. Um, I really thought that there would uh, be a much more telltale, um, like, speed increase, you know? So, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It was 2 minutes and 30 before. We got 35 seconds or so increase on that particular run. So it's actually not bad, but I want to get it faster. So that means we're going to have to we're going to have to look at a couple of units. We're going to have to switch some things around. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take out one of our healers. We're going to have to put in some additional strip, maybe some cleanse there just in case Ella doesn't do what she wants. And then we do need to put in some DPS because those waves took way too long, right? That's always the best way to speed up a run is to make those waves shorter and shorter. Anything around 30 seconds is great. 30 to 40. Um, is, is really really great and so as you replace these units so right now we have uh, Washi in here and we're really we're really starting to approach the end of Ella's life cycle when it comes to Steel Widow right because now we're really going to aim to have about a minute and 15 a minute and 20 team and at that point if she can't get us to where we want uh, we got to take her out because she's the last unit to replace right Everything else is minimum needs for stability. There's no doubt, I think, that Siege Tower is contributing at a high level, that Washi contributes at a high level, that uh, the Mall is necessary, that, you know, the Magical Girl is necessary. The, the component that we really have to now look at after we've replaced all these other units and done all this changing and switched things around is going to be Ella. So if she can't perform any better than a minute and 20, a minute and 30, we have to start looking at additional options. Now she got us a long way, right? From the very beginning of the game all the way through Steel Widow 10, working on speed teams, right? Working on Steel Widow speed teams. So she performed a very important role, but as you can see, like, she starts to be outperformed by everything. Her survivability just isn't where it needs to be in order for her to keep the DPS level we need her to stay at. So. All in all, I would really say that I'm impressed with Ella from an early to mid game standpoint. She's a very solid unit. She performs a lot of roles, and like I said, I used her in I used her in Outer Harbinger to get me through Outer Harbinger Four on auto. Right? She was great because she applied blind. She did a bunch of stuff. She was great. But there's just other better units out there that do the exact same thing. And we're really not in, in the outer harbinger realm right now looking to be able to auto like level six and seven, right? That's not where we're at right now as far as progression. So if you want to build Ella in your early game to mid game, I can definitely see it. I would I would say if you're already in mid game though, stick it out. She's not she's not the build you need right now. Um, unless you want to build her for arena because she's killer in arena because she's just 100% immunity that dodges all over the place and just crushes with uh, with DPS. She's really she's really cool for some top tier arena uh, against a couple of top tier arena teams. But I'd really be interested to hear both sides of that. You know, have you built her? Where do you use her? Are you still satisfied with her? Do you disagree that she's a mid to early game unit? Do you think she's an end game unit and perhaps I've built her wrong or you have a different uh, idea of how to build her? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching the videos. Have a great day. Bye.